What is up, comic creators? I'm gonna show you quickly how to do uh, filters uh, in your CapCut mobile project. I have my uh, two shots here that, of uh, a woman walking on the beach. So I've got this first one of her walking down to the shoreline, and then I've got this last one of her silhouette in the sunset. Uh, so I wanna add a cool filter over both uh, video clips, and I want it to be cohesive. So I want it to be the same filter for both. That way it looks like it's all done in one shot. So in the bottom menu, scroll over till you see uh, filters. And then you click on the filter icon and that will open up all of your filter options within the CapCut mobile app. Um, if it uh, starts on featured, you'll see ones that say pro on it. That's for the paid version, uh, but they have a lot of free versions that look pretty good. When you click on it, it gives you an example in your window there of what it looks like. The bar on the bottom, when you use your finger to slide that bar back and forth, just is the strength of the filter. So if you want it like halfway on there uh, or anything like that, you can adjust it. A lot of times people do 100%. It's really just up to you as far as taste. Um, and it really is up to your shot. Sometimes 100% makes it look worse. Uh, sometimes it looks good. But on that little uh, menu on the top, you can scroll over and see different uh, like um, sections of the filters. Because uh, you can scroll here through with your finger and scroll through all of them. Or you can scroll on the top and click, like I'll click on movies here. Uh, and I've got all these different um, uh, versions of the filter on the movies, like blue, gray, um, you know, green, orange, you can see, um, but then they have like uh, the Lone Ranger or uh, Bullet Train or Black Panther, which that actually looks pretty good. Um, and you could even increase the strength on that. That one actually looks uh, pretty decent for uh, like a cinematic looking type of shot here. And so I think I might just roll with that. So once you have what you want, you click the check mark in the bottom right hand side, uh, and that will add um, the uh, filter into your project timeline. So now you see it's there. I've got my purple bar there that represents the filter itself. Um, it's right now selected. So if it's not selected, you would just click it with your finger. It automatically fills the entire screen uh, shot that you're filtering. Um, and you can click, uh, actually click on it, and then you'll see uh, polish bottom left hand side, which allows you to adjust the filter. It also allows you to change the filter in that setting if you wanted to change it uh, but I like what I want so I'm going to keep what I have click the check mark again uh, once that I adjust the strength of it uh, and so I know that I want it I, in that bottom menu you can copy and paste it you can split it you can delete it obviously but what I want to do is hold my finger down on the edge of that clip because I want to expand it across the other clip too so that way it all looks the same and it looks cohesive so now I'm pulling this all the way and then I'm going to use the snap feature here to snap it in place to make sure it ends when the other clip ends. And now I've got one unified shot here, all using the same filter, would, uh, which makes it look like it's all cohesive, like you filmed it at the same time, even though I just downloaded these two random clips uh, online. Um, but see, um, when I unselect it, you can select it. And so there's our clip, the, uh, the second clip with it. Now if I click the undo button, in the top right hand side I can see what this looked like before so there's undo that's what it looked like before then I click the redo button boom there's your new clip so uh, that way you can kind of see the difference and so that is a, a quick run through of how to use uh, filters within the CapCut mobile app I also have a video I did that shows you how to do some color editing tricks uh, really simple uh, to make your footage look more pro but if you're on the if you're on the run you're on the fly you really don't want to learn coloring obviously the filter is a great uh, option to go especially when you're editing on mobile a lot of times it's just keeping it simple so hopefully that helps let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys on the next one thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please take the time to like comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our youtube overlords check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.